Virtual reality treats the uh, pain by distracting the patient. My name is Dr. Ralph Anderson. I've been an OB for over 28 years. How's the baby? The baby's doing well. If you look back at treating pain, it's been something that has not changed since I was a resident. Currently, everyone's talking about the opioid crisis. It is a big issue and it's not going away. So I believe it just behooves us to look into other ways of dealing with pain. Lately, virtual reality seems to be gaining momentum, and I believe it's gonna become a real player in this area. You keep your glasses on. Okay. I've used the VR device on probably 40 patients in labor. Melissa, I could see with the tracing of her contractions being quite high, was in good labor. The contractions started about three in the morning and they were getting very painful. My favorite scene was like this purple tree and it's almost like the leaves are kind of like falling and the trees actually like just kind of going like this. As you exhale, feel the air leaving your body. You're just focusing on that instead, and it helped a lot with the pain. Interestingly, in her first two deliveries, she used opiates and epidurals. This time, she didn't use any opiates. Are you feeling like you need to relax? My name is Michelle Ferguson. I'm the child life specialist. Want to try one of the games? Oh, yeah. I think this works so well with kids because they're so engrossed in the VR and the virtual reality. <laughs> their brains aren't really able to take in other additional stimuli because they're so focused on one thing. Anytime you can <laughs> allay fears, reduce anxiety, remove pain, <laughs> the impact, I think, is incalculable. That's kind of neat. I believe that virtual reality could become a option that people almost expect to get.